Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing this awesome turquoise makeup look, so I hope you're ready because I'm ready. Let's get straight into the video. As always, we're gonna start with our Mario Badesco spray for hydration, and then we're gonna go in with our Emberlease cream to lock in that moisture. I'll be using my CoverGirl foundation for full coverage all over the face with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to spread that out to have an even complexion. Now I'll be using this brow pomade from e.l.f. in dark brown and I'll be just following the natural shape of my brow and just filling it in with the same pomade mostly at the end of the brow. You'll see in the video that I'll use a NYX brow pencil in the middle and using the spoolie what I'm going to do is blend that and bring the color to the front a little bit to the beginning of the brow but not all the way. This is what gives me that natural fade in my brows and I always get asked this question and this is the technique that I use to get that effect. Now that we went in and filled in our brows, I'm taking this CoverGirl concealer and a little flat synthetic brush and I'm just cleaning the shape of my brows with a little bit of concealer. I'm doing this to the bottom and the top because it's going to give me a more clean and defined look to my brows. Don't forget to use a damp beauty blender to clean out the concealer and blend everything out seamlessly. To contour today, I'm going to be using the Sephora foundation in a deep color tone and I'm going to be putting dots around my forehead, cheek area, and nose area to make everything look thinner. Ladies, don't forget, don't be afraid to use that contour color girl because that's what's going to make you look extra, extra tanned and snatched. And now using a damp beauty blender, we're going to go ahead and blend everything out. Now to highlight, I'll be using my CoverGirl concealer and applying it under the eyes. Ladies, as you'll see as I blend it out with my damp beauty blender, be careful not to grab the sponge and moving the concealer too close to the bridge of the nose. You don't want to lose the contour color, so make sure that you blend it out only on top of the lid and under the eyes. Don't forget that immediately after you blend that concealer, you need to set it with some loose powder. Doing this makes sure that nothing moves and that your eyes are prepped and ready for eyeshadows. To contour my nose, I grabbed this MAC powder and I just went ahead and defined it a little bit more and then I went with some translucent powder to snatch the nose and make it look a little bit thinner. Alright girls, so now it's time to grab this Butter London palette and grab that turquoise color to apply all in the crease area. I'm using a Morphe fluffy brush to pack that color and blend it all out. And I already know what you're going to say. Girl, what are you using? You're not even naming none of these products. Don't worry boo, I got you. Every product I've used for today's tutorial is listed in the description box listed below. So don't forget to pause the video and check it out. Go ahead and grab that Butter London palette again and grab that brown color to apply in the crease area. We're not moving this color lower or higher, we're just literally placing it in the crease of the eye. Now it's time to cut our crease and we're going to do that with our synthetic brush and our CoverGirl concealer. And girl, let me tell you something. Please take your time doing this because a little mistake can throw this whole look off. So please take your time and be patient with this. Now to add color on the lid, we're going to go back with our Butter London palette and we're going to grab this shimmery gold color and we're just going to apply it all over the lid. Today I'll be using this Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the color black to create our wing liner. For a drugstore brand, this is actually pretty good. It's really black, it doesn't crack, and for the price, you can't beat it. Ladies, comment down below what your favorite liquid liner is so that I can try it out because I do love to try new liquid liners. And if there's a cheap alternative, I'll definitely give it a try. Great. 
Grabbing a face brush, go ahead and dust off the excess powder from earlier. Now I'm using this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara to prep my lashes for my false lashes. And since you already know what time it is, I'm using my favorite pair of couture lashes in the Style Calm to finish off this look. Ladies, don't forget to go down to the description box to get your promo code so that you can use it to order your lashes today. Now that the lashes are set, we're going to go ahead and set our contour as well using this MAC powder with a fluffy brush all around the forehead and cheek area. To add a little color back into the skin, I'm using this MAC blush with an angled face brush. To set my face, I'll be using this Urban Decay Setting Spray. And to finish off the look, we're using this Desi X Katie Fuego highlighter on the face to give us that special glow. Ladies, if you have textured skin, you could definitely skip this step. But if you like that JLo glow, then go ahead and add that highlight, girl. Now we're going to finish this look off using a nude lip liner to line our lips and go ahead and get ready to use our liquid lipstick. Today I'll be using this NYX liquid lipstick in a nude color as well to blend all that together. And that's it girl, we finished this look today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Make sure you follow me on social media, follow my Facebook and Instagram page. Till next time, bye.